In the northeastern corner of South America lies a pristine rainforest paradise that offers an unforgettable and unsurpassed experience. A land of breathtaking beauty and a vibrant Afro-Caribbean culture. And the continent's best kept business secret. Welcome to Guyana. Guyana is a nation on the move. And the next few years are crucial in the implementation of the country's competitiveness strategy. What makes Guyana an excellent place for foreign investment? Can tourism as an industry move the nation forward? And most importantly, what can this nation of 770,000 people bring to the world? Come join U.S. television as we explore Guyana's potential. Guyana, the only English-speaking country in South America, is located on the North Atlantic coast of the continent between Venezuela, Suriname, and Brazil. 90% of the population lives on the narrow coastal plain, while the largely untapped interior features rainforests and savannas. Although geographically a part of South America, Guyana is more culturally and politically tied to the Caribbean. The capital city of Georgetown is an excellent example of British and Dutch heritage in the region and is a melting pot of the joyful locals, themselves a curious mix of East Indian and African descendants, peppered with indigenous Amerindians, Europeans and Chinese. Guyana is a fantastic English-speaking country, the only English-speaking country that sits in the northeast corner of South America. Um, it's a wonderful country with wonderful people total democracy, free market systems, um, respect for good governance, and we are part of the CARICOM community. Unfortunately, we haven't been very good in letting the world know that Ghana exists, and, um, but we are open to investment. Uh, tourism, eco-tourism and adventure tourism is a big part of our strategy, and we welcome foreigners to Guyana. Guyana is a very large country, bigger than, you could say, all the Caribbean islands put together. We've had, we had come from a colonial past. And after over 300 years of colonialism, we have started from where we did and where we are today. I think we've made in the enormous strides. And there's a lot more to be done. But of course, nothing happens overnight. It takes a lot of planning. And of course, with good macroeconomic planning, I think a lot more can be done. And it is being done. Companies are taking advantage of what is available in terms of investment incentives and are investing, and that's most important. 